Aquarius, with the positioning of Uranus um, still in uh, Taurus, and then um, what else was was something? And then the moon headed soon. Not the, the moon was. Um, I don't know, but I remember I remember a couple of weeks ago doing an astrological forecast and recognizing that a lot was going to be going on for you guys. And I think the, the biggest thing that was going on. Oh, I'm sorry. Stop. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, I hope that you're having a wonderful time with your family. And actually, this has a lot to do with that. Um it's about recognizing that the choices that we made, even if they seem like mistakes or they led to fucking up or they led to hardship or we look back and we are maybe aren't proud of them. And hanging out with your family can bring all this shit up, as we all know. But ultimately, Aquarius, it's about the recognition that all of those things actually had to happen in order for you to end up where you are now and that not only you but other people kind of relied on all of that stuff happening um getting in each other's faces calling each other out on your shit like all those kind of things is like is something that you actually relied upon from each other um you could hear the ice cream truck in the back I got my ice cream and you don't got what? <laughs> Remember that? Sorry. That was uh, Eddie Murphy, by the way. Um, there's almost a sense of somewhere along the lines, you deciding or realizing you had to go your own path and do your own thing, even if it wasn't what was going to make other people feel comfortable. And ultimately what that did was start almost a karmic reaction that shimmied and shook the rest of your family or the rest of your friend group um, in a way that it kind of liberated them from themselves as well. This sense of, I don't want to have to constant, like there was some sort of pressure that was building up Aquarius, some sort of pressure of this is what you have to be because you're so influenced by Uranus. It is your ruling planet and Uranus does worry about the public and what the public is, how it is the public healthy, but also sometimes the downside of it can be too cued into public opinion or popular opinion or pop culture. And you could get carried away uh, with, but what will they think about me before you even think for a second, what will I think about me? And ultimately with you guys, it's almost like a rebellion, right? It's almost like, well, I want to know what, like, what do they expect from me? And then let, then let me rebel against that. And that's sort of how so many Aquariuses form their, um, form their sense of self is the, by intentionally being the direct opposite of, of public opinion or, um, what is publicly like uh, what is popular, right? But ultimately, that's also the same thing as letting the public define who you are because you're not really pulling that from your soul you're pulling that from that sense of um of um um pressure public pressure so ultimately there is just this sense of really being the rebel really completely going off track and making the decision to make yourself happy but not only to make yourself happy but to figure out what it is that you really love and have gone after it and whether you knew it or not when you decided that when you decided that you were going to go after what you really love regardless something opened up and there is a direct influence between that moment in your life and a reflection of what you're experiencing now is recognizing and realizing that you're the one that started this all. And um, that's a revelation that needs to happen. Hold on. And so this has sort of inspired people. Now, why is this important? It, it has. It's inspired people. It's inspired people to follow along. It's inspired people to like you. It's inspired people to maybe um, 
become a fan of yours or support you or think, hey, I can do this too. It's kind of inspired in some ways a following, basically deciding to show up and show the best of yourself and to decide who you're going to be, to make yourself into, because you decided who you were going to be, you were going to make yourself into the person that you wanted to be. But primarily what you were doing this for was probably for a child um, or showing somebody that you really cared about or were caring for how to be the very best of yourself to show them that they you could define that you that they could define their own life by setting the example for them that that uh, that that you could define your own life and you didn't have to let anybody else define and, and you weren't going to let anybody else define your life for you. There is this sense of it all coming up around this time, confronting it somehow, maybe being in the same room with somebody, this person coming around, somebody seeing you, somebody um, admiring you, coming full circle, this sense of a very difficult situation, um, almost somebody finally acknowledging, hold on, somebody finally acknowledging or saying the words like, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that shit about you. I shouldn't have said those things that I said to you. I shouldn't have uh, made you feel ashamed of who you are or made you question your self-worth. I shouldn't have made all of those things, those, those little things into such big things. Um, and the reason why this is so important, the reason why it's so important is because honestly, there was still some little sense of doubt some little sense of compromised self-worth that was going on inside of you because of the situation, because of this person. I feel like it's centered around a person, maybe a father figure, um, maybe a husband, maybe there was some sort of a father masculine figure in your life that's extremely imposing. This person was a boss, somebody who had some sort of influence or even control over your life. They impacted your life a great deal. Now, it did not have to be in a negative way, though it could have been in a negative way. But this is a sense of somebody that you whose respect that at one time that respect meant everything to you, how they saw you, um, how they looked at you, or even just like a aspiring to be them, especially if they did not stay in your life and they left for some reason, the sense of always wanting to live up to their expectations. Well, Aquarius, now you have basically exceeded their expectations, but ultimately you have not done that by their design. There's something here that says they would not have been happy with the road that you chose. They may have been disgusted by the road that you chose. And in some ways that always made you disgusted by yourself. Like I'm never still somehow they were influencing your mind. I'm never going to be good enough in their eyes, in their eyes, in their eyes. But ultimately, what are you saying now? You're figuring out how to love yourself for everything that you are and not define yourself at all by their standards. But the thing is, this all had to come up and it all had to come out because you had to confront the fact that even though you're always like, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I'm different, I'm different, I'm different. You did care, you did care, you did care, and it did matter. And it, it affected you and it impacted your life. And so there is this sense of um, apology, even if you don't get to hear it. You know, ever seen that meme, that sense of, you know, like way to go, all you people who never heard I'm sorry, but still gave forgiveness. That's that sense of being able to let go and realize that the small stuff is their opinion of you. There's the small stuff is, you know, what they thought or what they felt about you. The small stuff, it, it, it is not the, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's not how they made you feel. And it's definitely not. <sighs> the small stuff. Okay. You want to hear, I'm sorry. I understand that, but, and that is not small stuff. The small stuff is them, Th that, that person, that's the small stuff. Um, and it's almost like, don't sweat the small stuff is trying to say to you, um, 
even when you hear I'm sorry, you're going to have this cathartic moment of, wow, that didn't have as much impact as I thought it as I thought it would. And the reason why is because you've come so far since then. You've, you've reached so far beyond that person that what they would have decided or chosen, how they would have ch chosen to define you doesn't really, doesn't really define you anymore. Um, you have defined yourself and that little bit of disappointment inside of yourself is, 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 is dropping away. Um, you are striving, Aquarius, for a direction, in a direction that is different. But ultimately, you may have started on that path. You may realize just now why the reason why you started on that path was to, it was because you thought you could never achieve or live up to their standard path. So you took a path completely opposite in order to never be compared to or never be held up against or um, um, they couldn't say that they let you down because they, they don't know anything about this path, that kind of, that kind of, um, that kind of mentality. But ultimately it's like, it's like that person in some way, it's almost like a new beginning that they're, they're, they're like, they're like surprising you maybe even just saying, I, I actually am really impressed with what you've done, or I'm, I'm impressed with what I see. It's like a new beginning with how they see you, a new way with how you see yourself, um, a new start and a, and a letting go of any kind of connection. Like this is a new time in your life. Anything that was hurting you or dragging you down, any negative emotions are filtering away and Aquarius, you're starting to rise and be okay just being you without anybody else even looking. There's also this unconditional love that's come up. Now, unconditional love, yes, it could be by yourself. I don't think it is. I definitely think this is a sense of falling in love with somebody as you are, falling in love with who you, are. falling in love with, yes, who you are first, but no, it's falling in love with who you really would fall in love with, not falling in love with somebody that would have been pre-approved or falling in love with somebody as the person that you thought you had to be, because that's not really you falling in love. That's just you ending up with somebody who is not really for you, but you're not behaving as you. So how would you end up as somebody who's really for you? Now that you're starting to behave as you and let go of all of those like self-defeating ideas and thoughts inside your head. It's almost like, it's almost like um, any kind of forced situation is evaporating and it doesn't hold the power over you that it used to. This, this is a very emotional time for you <clears throat> of seeing that sense of self-worth and not needing anybody else to see it. This is a, this is a, a conversation that you're having within yourself that, that nobody else it has to even know happened, but there is definitely some emotions that are coming to the surface and you are confronting, if you can, if you have the opportunity, and I think a lot of you are going to get the opportunity to confront the man or the person, and I feel like it's a man for most of you, that really put all these feelings in you, that was really hard, conflicting feeling. This is a sense of realizing those, those parts of you that you consider ugly or you, that you consider wrong, um, they're not. They're all a part of us. It's almost like, oh, we're supposed to be ashamed of a part of ourselves, but not ashamed of the other parts of ourselves. No, this is you bringing to the surface those parts of you that everybody says you should hide. Those those like those parts of you that everybody says um, you shouldn't be, how much you weigh, who you date, um, what job you work, et cetera, et cetera. All of those things, it's like it's it's be, they're being pushed up to the surface and exposed to the air so they could just die and go away, essentially. Um, you're very close to achieving your goal. You're almost there. You're almost at the surface. You're almost breaking through those barriers that try to restrict you and oppress you. You're you're coming, take time to breathe out. Um, it's almost like you've held your breath for so long and you're rising to the surface and you don't want to let go of that breath. But Aquarius, this is saying you're guaranteed the next breath. Let it out that breath that you've held for so long because you're you're when you break through the surface. You can just take a deep breath in. You're, you're, you're ready to take a deep breath in. You're ready to get filled up. 
So what do you need to let go of? That's what all of this is coming out as, that sense of you are releasing all of that conflict and all of that self-hate and those self-restrictive, those self, the self-defeating talk. You're, you're releasing all of it in a really interesting, cathartic way. Um, you're able to finally let go. Let's read this card. So beautiful. These are my namaste cards. They're brand new. So the blessing of just being. You may have been thinking that if you had acted or chosen differently in the past, things would be, would be better now. But in thinking this way, you fail to see the positive effects of your past actions and choices have had on both yourself and others. So look closely and you will see many blessings. You'll see many blessings if you look closely. Let's go to the spirit animal cards. Aquarius, your behavior has opened up doors for people. You know, your behavior and maybe even your rebellion has sort of made people realize things or see things, things that would not have come out without you. Tend to the small things. This is the second time. We said don't sweat the small stuff. But it's almost like, listen, if you owe somebody an apology and it's been building and you've, you've been feeling it for a long time but avoiding it because I don't have to be sorry for that. I don't have to be sorry. But what if you are sorry for that? Because this whole thing at the core, you're the truth. That's what Aquarius is, the truth. The truth bearer. The water is the truth. So ultimately, it's a sense of those things that are getting to you, those things that are bothering you, those things that you do regret on your way up, then go back, turn around and make amends. That's what it's saying, because this is the time to get rid of the rats. You don't want them following you out of the hole. You're about to like burst through and be able to breathe again. You don't want them scratching and clawing or taking any pestilence out. You got to confront whatever is making the situation sick, whatever is making your relationships sick. You have to confront that Aquarius. So ultimately let those feelings out like like feel so what i'm saying is this could be it this is an extremely emotional time for you um but it has to be and it's right that it is so don't question that um this is thanksgiving something will if you don't bring it to the surface something's going to come to the surface there's going to be some uncomfortable family discussion or conflict or something comes out it's because it needed to this is the exposure that you need this is the time to um confront those things uh that that basically maybe i don't i don't it, it's like don't back down just don't back down confront them face on especially if it's right if it's something that you normally would have defended or pretended like oh that doesn't matter to me what the fuck are you talking about no if it matters say that it matters Say that it matters out loud so that it ceases to have control over you. Be peace. Bringing a sense of peace to the situation. Um, like, like bringing the truth to the surface, but also um, bringing grace and acceptance to the surface. A sense of, let's get this, this, this elephant is in the room. Why aren't we talking about them? Like, let's confront the elephant in this room. Just say it. Either just say it, just ask me. Um... But this is Libra energy, a really nice counterbalance for your energy, a sense of bringing, um, taking all this knowledge and wisdom that you're flinging to the surface and figuring out how to make things better from it. A peace offering is also coming in. Say, I'm sorry, either you're giving a peace offering or somebody's making a peace offering to you. That's probably long overdue. The abundant universe will provide Aquarius. So this is Taurus energy. You know that Uranus, your, uh, you know, um, ruling planet has been hanging out in Taurus for a long time. So ultimately, this is this is great resources and a great deal of abundance finally breaking through. Um, you will have all the resources that you need. Um, the, in fact, you may have already so much abundance in your life. But what I want you to feel from this card really is the security, is the knowing. You know, bison is a very quiet animal, but they provide so much. It's 3D resources. Something is coming in for you. 
there's some sense of somebody who owed you something is now it's paying up. That's what I want to say. And then we have time to let go. You held on to this. You refused to let go. You refused to give up and you refused other people not seeing it. You refused to think that it was nothing and that, um, <clears throat> yeah, you refused to think it was nothing. This is something that was hidden. Definitely. Something that was hidden. Stuffed really deep down inside of you. I feel like with the scorpionic energy, it was um, it was um, emotional. Def like like I don't I don't know like it was it was definitely something emotional. Um, but ultimately, there's a sense of releasing could very well be releasing an abundance of emotion that really needs to happen. An outburst, crying, screaming, yelling, just. Just so many emotions that maybe you couldn't tap into um, or that you had intentionally suppressed or ignored. Get ready for the deluge because it's all coming out. And you're going to be surprised at what's on the other side of it because people think that you're brave. I know that you feel weak, but people think that you're brave. And uh, you see clearly now, this is Aquarius energy. This is being lost in the dark. This is being stuck. This is not making good decisions or not being wise. It's like, it's like all of those things are, are like still, still searching for the way, still searching for the direction. This is not the truth. That's what it is. And it's like, this is the truth that was pushed down. And that's what it's coming from. Learn from the past. There's something here that says, um, you're not learning from the past or you didn't learn from the past. You may be letting somebody, there's a, there's a chance that somebody will get under your skin big time now. Um, um, because ultimately there was, there was just a sense of, um, information that had not come out. That's what it is. You couldn't make this decision because there was information that was not revealed to you. This is information that's long been suppressed and held under. That's what I'm saying. And that's ultimately what you're bringing to the surface right now. Or your energy. There's going to be major fucking truth breakthroughs coming. It, seriously. It, it's, it's, it's unavoidable at this point. Um, I'm going to articulate everything with Tara to get to the nitty gritty of like the who's and what's about this. That link is is in the description box below. Please do join me for that. But stick around for the angel messages because I'm going to shuffle them right now. So Aquarius, um, thank you so much for the support of the channel since the very beginning. I'm so grateful for you. So on Thanksgiving, I say thank you, Aquarius. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe by kicking not kicking, but you can kick the bell if you want. Um, ring that bell so you get notifications because I upload new Aquarius specific material every single Wednesday. You can depend on it between 5 and 6 a.m. Um, that there will be a new Aquarius video for you. Um, and there's also always an extended video. And if you subscribe over to my Vimeo channel, you will get access to those extended videos a day before they um, are, can be accessed through the YouTube link. So that's always a plus. And plus, that's where I post my astrological forecasts for the week. You'll get weekly astrological forecasts over there. Join me also every day. I no, sorry, Monday through Friday, uh, every morning, I do a daily tarot card reading over on Instagram. And that's born underscore without underscore boundaries. It's general energies for everyone. So I hope to see you there too. Um, let's get into your angel messages before um, you head over to the extended. Creative potential. You are by nature infinitely creative. Life is a sea of creative potential just waiting to be expressed through you. You are free to express all your heart's desire. You're finally letting out. Um, th in other words, this, this, this um, um, burst of emotion is actually like an, a clog that's coming out. It's almost like fucking Drano. The clog is popped. The cork has popped. And there's going to be, with this emotion, a huge gushing of creativity. If you've been trying to work on something and you found that your creativity has been squashed in some way, um, or that it, it hasn't been flowing as easily, it's because 
it's directly connected to this pain and you're continuing to suppress this pain. So once this pain stops or once you let it go, that cork is going to release a bunch of creative energy too. Sacred knowledge. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Feel the peace within. Beyond your thoughts lies your eternal truth. The I am presence of eternal love. This is something deep down inside of you. Something that you already know. Getting back, back in touch with that. Uh, despite all the chaos on the outside. This is the second time we've gotten peace. No matter where you are or what you're doing, inner peace is always possible. All it takes is a subtle shift in awareness. Think love and peace will follow. Um, let yourself love somebody. Let yourself be who you are at, at, out loud. And this could very well be a message that somebody, the catalyst for all this is that somebody comes back to say, I'm sorry and that I love you. And all of a sudden there's it's you're now able to release all of those emotions you held on to around that topic that became like a clog for so much else. Imagine, clearly visualize the life you want, feel it in your heart and soul, and so it will come to be. This is it. So it's it's little manifestation, especially after that emotional release. You're going to be a, a manifestation fucking X-Man. You know what I'm saying? It's like a superpower. Let's go over to Tarot and get the details on this reading. I will see you guys over in the extended.